Hello, I'm T4, and today we're finally dealing with oil. Let's go. On top of sorting out oil, I think I'm also going to sort out this mess, because I've noticed that some of my deliveries just simply aren't being done, and every time I walk by this, it's driving me nuts. So we're going to fix this as well. So given that uh, we're in update 8, I figured I may as well start actually using blueprints, especially considering oil can be frustrating. But uh, let's see what we can come up with. I can only fit three refiners in the blue printer, and when I tried to put them on top of this, which is intended to be the base, they're too tall. So I'm gonna end up making like a base and then just the refiners. I don't know, I'm probably gonna take some inspiration from Total, just to add a little bit more flair, because I mean, if it was just placing down the refiners, then I could just place down the refiners. I wouldn't really need a blueprint. So I may as well add something to it, right? So this is the design I've decided on. Um, a little bit of inspiration from Total. If you don't know him, check his stuff out. He's amazing. I'm going to leave this stuff as is. As you can see, I've got signs for lights. Um, natural light will be coming in as well. But I'm not 100% sure of what each machine is going to be running. So the supply and demand is going to be a little bit different. So I'm just going to leave those open for uh, editing. I didn't want to commit to too much in a blueprint. I'd rather make a general blueprint and then edit it after it's down to meet my needs. Uh, so with the base as well, um, it's just two pipes because you're almost guaranteed to need pipes when you're playing around with oil and rigs. So I decided to may as well just put in the pipes ahead of time and then any other editing I need to do, I can do it once I know exactly what's needed. So I've overclocked this extractor to be 240 a minute as well as each extractor. So a total of three is pushing 240 a minute. So I figure to start with, I'll do a plastic, a rubber, and then a fuel. And then these two will produce the purple stuff, I forget what it's called, um, that I'm also going to turn into fuel. Because eventually I can use it for power and I can use it for my truck. So the two blueprints together, this is what they look like. As you can see, I've already sorted out how everything's going to be flowing. I've also added this walkway between each setup so that I'm able to actually move around. We also have power running already and I had to add this um, feature so that the power lines were up there and not running all over the place because it drives me nuts when they do that. And as you can see, I have four, four, and then I just took the one out in the middle. So what I actually ended up doing was placing three refiners blueprints and then just deleted the middle one. I also found that when I was placing the blueprints, in order to get them sitting nicely together without wasting resources, I actually just deleted an end where they would connect to the next blueprint and then that way I could just connect everything let it overlap and clip just a little bit but I wouldn't actually waste any like wall or beams or anything like that I don't know works for me so I've decided to put the heavy oil residue factory here I know I probably could have lined it up a little bit better with this one uh, for symmetry but who wants to to be perfectly symmetrical when planning a city, you know what I mean? I'll eventually add the walkways and everything else. I'm happy with the decision. It's also a touch shorter than this one is, because uh, I didn't really plan ahead when I decided to do this one. I definitely put a safe space, but it's not like I'm running short on space, so I'm not, not really sweating it just yet. All right, so here we go. Power's hooked up, machines are running. I still need to sort out delivery of goods and uh, what to do with the extra stuff. Because as is right now, I keep backing up on residue and fuel, which shuts down my refiners. So I think I'm gonna set up a packaging plant right here, just underneath um, what's eventually going to be the truck platform, like off of the road have some trucks coming in taking stuff away and then I can do the packaging down here just to keep refiners running when things uh, start backing up until I get more upgrades and can get bigger tanks and all the fun stuff so I've got the platform set up for the truck stations 
I've just added like a side road and then the main highway can continue off into the next area. As we can see, I've got everything running. Um, every once in a while, I just have to purge the fuel and heavy residue so that I can continue to build up rubber and plastic. I haven't done the packaging yet, but it's going to go down here and then right up into its own truck station. I'm just hoping I left myself enough room for, what do we need here? One, two, maybe four truck stations. There should be more than enough room for that up there. But before I get these trucks up and running and get the packaging running, I really want to deal with these factory cars because they're kind of driving me nuts. So I'm going to go sort that. So I ended up just deleting all the factory cars, stood here for like 20 minutes to make sure I didn't miss any as they came in to do deliveries. I still have an Explorer pulling things from the encased industrial beams, but it's a fair jaunt away. And it only seems to be dropping like a half a stack at a time. So I'm not overly concerned about that flooding my truck station. What I did out front of the building supply here was I ended up giving all the cars their own parking spot. That way they're not all stacked up waiting for one car to finish its break and the other ones don't have to wait to get into position before they can actually start their break. It seems to be working well so far. I'll keep an eye on it. I may have to come up with another solution at some point, but this is working pretty well so far. Now let's go get the packaging and truck stations sorted out and we can call it a video. So I decided to make some of these by hand because I need them in order to actually get the plastic containers. I forgot I hadn't unlocked that yet. So once this is done, I can actually finish my container factory where I can package all my fuel and any extra fluids for the resource sink. And then I can finally finish that setup because I don't know how much of what I need so that I can actually finish the math on it. So once this is done, then I can run that math, I can finish my setup, and my oil will be, or my oil district will be ready to go. All right, off she goes. And now I can actually make my plastic my containers stuff. and package my fuel. Oils can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. With that, I've got everything set up and ready to go. My truck stations are being filled, everything's turned on, and I have three sinks here to grab things so that factories don't have to shut down anymore. The only problem I think I'm going to run into is a fuel backup. Um, I've connected the two fuel factories, this one being uh, using the residue, the other one is using pure crude oil, which of course gives me these guys that I need for research and other stuff, and eventually recipes. Uh, so all that's left to do is run trucks and figure out where I want to store everything and send everything. So join me next time and we're going to start on my tech district. And what I think I'm going to do with the tech district is stick it in between my oil district and my basically what's currently my main factory or my main hub and between uh, here and there there should be more than enough room to set up the computer factories and anything else that I need moving forward. I'm T4 thanks for hanging out this long don't forget to click all that crap down below it helps me out ever so much more than you know I'll see you later.